Dr. NGR Educational and Research Institute, University, Madhurabol, Chennai. very important it is life enhancing and like everything that gives pleasure it is what doing well says within words best word a wonderful good afternoon to one and all present here on the north of the by one to deliver a welcome address thank you mr rajeshwari a very good afternoon to one and all gathered here it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all on behalf of fashion design department dr mgr educational and research university for this one day national level webinar on the topic the art of self branding yourself on behalf of fashion design department i would like to thank our founder chancellor ac shanmugam sir and our honorable president engineer acs arun kumar sir for granting approval to conduct this event in a grand successful manner i would also welcome our joint register hns mr prabhu sir dean academics dr ar arnachalam sir and dean administration dr k sendil kumar sir for the encouragement and support in conducting this event today to enrich our knowledge and to give a clear focus on self branding yourself we have here with us ms priya darshini govindan an image and business consultant we feel proud and honored to welcome you here ma'am a heartfelt welcome to all the participants from all over the nation last but not the least i would also like to welcome all the dignitaries my colleagues and technical support people who always help us in conducting all the programs in the grand manner i welcome you all once again thank you Thank you so much for your warm welcome, ma'am. Now I request Mr. Nadim, sir, Director of IOD, to introduce our resource person of the day. Hello, everybody. Very good afternoon to one and all. Today we have a wonderful person. Okay, Ms. Priya Darshini Govindan. She is an image and a business consultant from Chennai. she has touched more than 100 lives with the help them to adapt change and upskill themselves to reinvent themselves to be a better person as we say in tamil al padi ade padi she is a person who is going to talk to you about the whole idea of how to elevate yourself with your style with your identity and what are the things you have to do you must not do and she has been as a it engineer and she had a various experience in various fields such as helping different kind of verticals and plus she is certified nlp professional and plus image consultant and soft skills trainer and digital marketing specialist also and she has done a uh, lot of activities for people in india and abroad she has been helping the djs vjs in the chennai city as well as internationally with the london uh, tv group and the radio group there i welcome you ma'am to speak to our students and give them a better perspective for understanding how they have to handle themselves in the fashion perspective as a designer 
as well as as a image consultant how they have to image carry their image as a fashion designer to one and all we welcome you adam wish you all the best for the today's seminar thank you for a wonderful welcome sir now now consultants to take over the session ma'am the stage is all yours thank you so much for the wonderful uh, introduction and i would like to thank mr arun kumar and hod of fashion technology mahmuda ma'am and nadeem sir so i'm so elevated to be here and i wish uh, you know there there are there will be few takeaways for the you know people who are here so good noon to all of you and uh, so i'm going to share my screen and just let me know if it's visible Uh, it's visible now. Okay. Great. Okay. So, um, I know it's going to be one way, and I would not, you know, be interacting with you all. Uh, that is like in one way, which I am feeling so, uh, you know, uh, not better about this concept. But still, virtual is one which uh, you know help us reach a uh, lot of minds, people with. people in different communities and different walks of life and that is one good thing about the virtual platform but still uh, since it's like even one way but still you know the interaction can happen uh, through the comment below if you have any queries you can share it there maybe after the session also i'll be able to answer you all right so everything starts with a dream so we all have a dream in life from our childhood from our young age say you know um, driving in the cloud and um, you know flying on a white elephant or maybe uh, in a phoenix bird on a phoenix bird so we get you know kind of weird dreams which are unrealistic right so but there are few realistic dreams in life which we don't take action in some part of a life isn't it so then they are also considered to be unrealistic right but there is nothing so called unrealistic until we try and you know even you know we we tend to climb the ladder to touch the star it's that way so everything starts with a dream but the dream and the destiny and in the midway there is something which talks about your story which is what transpires in between is important that's your life journey so your dream and your destiny and in between what transpires makes a story very interesting right so i had a dream in life and before i reach my destiny i have a path to travel so how cherishing my travel would be my life journey would be and what is that i'm going to carry it to the outer world from you know the way i i'm going to reflect to the world is what is going to talk about me and that is the impression that i'm going to make about myself on this earth isn't it okay so to start with so what transpires in between in our life journey are these steps passion which is a small seed that you sow and the vision which is what you truly are as a person and what you want to communicate to the world have you ever envisioned you how your vision would unfold the bigger picture of your life if you haven't please close your eyes and vision how beautiful the life is the resources that the universe has given and the way you stand there so it's abundant right so are we really utilizing all the resources and the power given to us and are we able to visualize what are we going to be in the world if you haven't please go ahead close your eyes visualize what you are on earth inspiration so we all get inspired we get motivated and every day there will be you know somebody who inspires me somebody who motivates me and if i ask you are you getting motivated every day 
are you inspired? And if you tell me yes, and then I would ask you, what is the source of your inspiration? And if you tell me that the source of your inspiration or your, you know, your parents, your teachers, your well-wisher, your neighbors, then I would say a sorry here. They can inspire you only to a certain extent. But later, it must be the integral part of you. If it's not the integral part of you that's going to help you get inspired, it's not consistent. You will not have the thrive to do things. So we always look for inspirations, you know, even fashion designing with respect to fashion designing. We tend to get inspired, you know, for our patterns and for our styles and for the fabrics and everything. But still, why don't you just try searching inside rather than searching outside? Get inspired with what you do. Try to see the better version of you and get inspired with that is what I feel. And this journey will make you understand what you are and what, what your values are and how you can influence people you know, with respect to your industry. And learning. So learning, yes, we learn from our childhood. And most of the decision that we take in life is based on the learning that we have. Say, if I want to take a decision, I look at the back, I see what was I successful then? If yes, that worked for me, then that's the learning that I would take it up and then I go further. Yes, so the learning comes from the surrounding. The learning comes from the mistakes that you make. The learning comes from, you know, every day, even from a kid, from even the nature helps to learn. So the life journey gives you a lot of learning. But the point is, are we learning them with at a conscious level? Or are we failing to understand the unconscious part, you know, pattern, you know, which is not letting us help what we, what we are truly learning that's going to help us. Okay, setbacks. Setbacks are uncertain part of life, which can't be avoided. All you could do is you can reinvent yourself. You can disrupt your own model and you can come up with better solutions in life. And setbacks are like for everyone. You can't overcome that, but you have ways to it. And that's the solution that we need to seek for yourself. And milestones. If you haven't set, you haven't marked any milestone in your life, and I'm going to give you a gift now. Look back and you know, just imagine if I'm going to take some time in your life and if I tell you to gift yourself something, and what is the time that you would gift yourself? And I feel that's the milestone. That's the mark. That's the imprint that you have made in your life. If you haven't marked the milestone in your life journey so far, please go ahead and mark where the milestones are. By the way, when we're talking about personal branding, why about dream? Why about what transpires? Why about the faces? What we need to change is not how we look. What we need to change is how we are from inside, which is going to help us throughout our life. And so you have the dream and you have the destiny. Now in the life journey, what message I'm going to share to the world? When I say dream, are you someone who is going to dream only for you? or for your community and the tribe you're in. And when, you, when I say dream, is it going to solve only your problem or the problem of 100 million people on earth? So what is that message that you have learned from your life, which you would like to share it to the world? And if you could encapsulate that, and if you could discover that, you're done. And you become an influencer there. So life starts with a dream, ends with a legacy. Legacy is what you give, what you give back to the society, what you give back to your generation. Some people leave a legacy, but some live a legacy. So who you are, you want to leave a legacy or you want to live a legacy is 
the quality of the life that you're living. Okay, so coming to our uh, major quotient, the story uh, why we need this uh, you know, particular session is all about branding. When you say branding, people generally connect with the logo, promoting someone. Yes, of course, branding is logo, branding is promoting someone. Branding is your identity, which you want to create for yourself, which is which talks about the product or the service that you will offer for people around. And it is about the unique way that you're going to communicate about your brand. And finally, you need to commercialize it. And then, then that becomes a branding. If you're someone who want to brand yourself, then I have a few points to discuss with you. So there are different kinds of branding. Say we, people say corporate branding, individual branding, product branding, we have uh, personal branding. So corporate branding, as you all know, corporate branding is about positioning the company you know, in a whole and then they have the wide range of product in, and the product line being branded and like positioning the whole company is the corporate branding. And personal branding, as we're going to emphasize more on this, I would you know, talk further on personal branding. So to me, promise made and promise kept is branding. I make a promise that this is what I'm going to offer and I need to keep up the promise. So if you're doing that, then you're there in the market. Personal branding. So communicating on your product or service is what you do with respect to personal branding. Being a thought leader in the industry, positioning yourself as an expert, enhancing your visibility and credibility, consciously reflecting your values, elevating your presence online and offline, set a perception about you to your target audience, participating in events, capturing your new versions, influencing others to take actions. So if you want to brand yourself, then these are the few things which you need to follow. Ultimately, you want somebody to take action. And if you want somebody to take action, then they need to trust you. If you don't build the trust and if you don't let, you know, make them understand that you're that one go-to person for them and you're that one person who could solve the problem and you're that one person who they can look up to, then they might not listen to you. You need to make embark, you need to imprint in each and every one that you connect that you can come to me, I'm there to solve. And the way you influence, change the mindset, which help them to take an action and a decision in their life. And if you can influence somebody's decision and give them a better career, make them a better personality, and then you're, you're the thought leader. Okay, so sometime in life, when I, I was in my training session, I had my one of my trainer who asked, I mean, who said that I need to sell myself. Wasn't it so rude? I need to sell myself. Why should I sell myself? Am I a product? Was my question. Then I also asked, are we commodities? Are we commodities? Am I a commodity to sell myself? Why should I sell myself? Let people see what I am and let them come to me. Why should I sell myself? This is what one thing which, you know, which was you know, pondering most of the time. But then I'm not a person to do that. But then I know we are commodities. I had to accept because if I don't talk about myself, who else would? And say Orange becomes a brand. It wants to become a brand. It it will have its own name. Say uh, you know Sweet Salt, and it's going to have a tagline, and it's going to it, it has got its you know color palette, the texture and the feel that it gives, and it adds a value proportion. Its nutritional value as its value proportion, and it adds its cost. Say for per kg, and 
when orange can say about itself, why can't me? And if orange can sell itself, why can't I sell myself? Selling is nothing but your ideas, your thought process, in what way you can help people around the world with your ideas, with your innovations, with your creativity. So let's differentiate here. So if it's a product, you talk about its features, its benefits, its usage, its price, and its pros and cons. And if it's you, if it's an individual, we talk about the skill set. What skill set do I possess? And if I don't have the right skill set, how people will employ me? And if I don't have the right skill set, what am I to do? And when you go talk about you, then you need to first think of, do I really fit in for what I'm seeking for? Secondly, value creation. So what value are you going to create in someone's life? Why people should come to you ultimately? And that's the first question that you would be asked. Though there are you know, n number of fashion designers in the world, people should ask, why should I come, come to you? If there, are, if there is a retailer, he would definitely ask, why should I you know, take up your, your product? And if there is an investor, he, sh he would definitely ask, click, why should I invest in you? Right. So you need to create a value for yourself and expertise level, the solution that you offer in your domain, what is your knowledge? What kind of skill that you possess to execute something? And are you, do you, are you a person who goes extra mile to work it out? And the next is the service cost. So we talk about price and we talk about our service cost and strength and weakness. So what's your strength? What is your weakness? Is what you need to identify. And the weakness of yours can also become your strength. And you need to keep working on your strength as well. So when I could differentiate between the product and the individual, then I'm pretty sure we are commodities and we have to talk about ourselves, sell ourselves. Selling is nothing but don't tell, but you need to show who I am. How are you going to tell the world who you are? How are you going to tell the world that you're a best fashion designer? How are you going to tell the world that you're a better human? How are you going to tell somebody that you're a better friend? You can't just tell them. You need to make them feel. Logical never sells all the time. You have to sell emotions. You need to walk the talk. If you're a fashion designer, then people, you should not go with a label, I'm a fashion designer. When people look at you, when people look at your work, then they need to understand, yes, she's somewhere related to fashion. At least they should somewhere give us an adjective of a fashion. Okay, so we have so many brand names here. I know you would have deep drive in with all the brand names over. And when you look at the brand names, and some brands has got its logo and some style font itself is, is, is so unique. And when I look at it, it just bobs me. So many brands. You know, when I think of comp competition and when we talk, talk about the competitive edge and we are afraid of, you know, this competitive platform, we are, we are so, you know, feel, we feel rejected when somebody grows and when we, we are not able to. Like one day when I was traveling, I went in a, you know, auto. Then I've been seeing like so many autos everywhere. I, I just felt why this auto man has never been you know, threatened with the other. They don't feel it's very competitive. There are a lot of petty shops. They're not worried if somebody has got a petty shop just close by. There are different saloons, you know, like in the same lane. But still they don't, you know, really be afraid of uh, like, you know, the competition. But why are we? We don't tend to share our own knowledge to people. We don't try to help other people learn. You know, sometime in life you would have also felt this. But I'll tell you with respect to clothing, is there any day you have went out without a dress? No. Yes. So everybody wears a cloth. There are millions of people across the world. There is no competition actually. It's how you're going to take it forward. 
So when I look these brands, there are a few adjectives that came in my mind. The pain, the, the kind of effort people have put, success, ruggedness, fancy. There are so many adjectives that you kind of emotion and the feeling that every brand carries, the hard work, the hardship somebody has put in, the craftsmanship. So what is your brand? What are the adjectives of your brand would be? If I asked you that, and if you have a pen and paper in handy, say you're going to create a brand. And if your brand will carry some adjective, what would be those adjectives? And that would tell you, what is your brand value? Okay, so here we have some fashion icons. Manish Malhotra, and you have Manish Arora, you have Rita Kumar, you have Tarun. So when you look at them, what do you feel? Was it so easy for them to come to the limelight? Wasn't it so hard for them? Or it just happened overnight? Room wasn't built in a day. Nobody came on limelight and that wasn't so easy for them. They had their own tough time in life. So, when you look at them, I know you'd have pretty much surfed about them, the designs, you people, everybody would have inspired you as I've got inspired myself. So, when you look at them, how you relate yourself with them, with the clothing brand or as a person they are or for their hardship or for their creativity or for their aggressiveness. In, like in what way you connect to these people, what connects you more, what resonates, how you resonate with them. And if you're able to unpack the elements that these people have and try to integrate in you, you can model their excellence. So there are 50 famous designers and there are few which I want to you know, take away because they've already been and I wish some of you here, some of the photos, people who are attending, who are aspiring to become a fashion designer, I want one of your picks here. It wasn't easy for them, but it wasn't so tough for them. If they can, why can't you? There are no unresourceful people, but there are only unresourceful state of mind. So you can be one. So shall we build our empire? If you haven't started something, I'm going to give you ways where you can build your empire. And there are like too many today. And I know it's like, I don't know if it's knowledge or baggage for us. There is so much to learn today. And it's so easy that we get everything online. But still, let's go through a few points which is going to help you to build your brand. The name of your brand which truly resonates with you, with the concept that you look out for. Logo, which aligns with the name, which aligns with your core value, can be your logo. And the tagline, the caption, which is going to pull people, right? So you can get kind of a tagline for your product and the values. Values, what are values? We have some moral values in life. Like, I don't want to do this. I'm this kind of a person. And every time in any kind of, especially when you conflict with someone, you talk about a lot of values. You talk about you, and then you can capture your value. So these are some of the values. Customer satisfaction, win-win, integrity, quality are some of the brand values. Persona. So,
So persona is as a personality what I am. Do brand have personality? Yes, brands have personality. They carry emotion. You know, the brands talk about kind of people, the, the people with certain lifestyle which is going to help with. And it helps to become liberal. When you wear something, you, you feel so liberal. It shows passion, power, confident, a feel-good factor. Some clothes make you feel so fun. You know, it's like the beach out and or like, you know, a few dresses make you feel, you know, the fun element is there and ruggedness. So brand has got its own persona. And if you have a brand, how, what kind of brand persona is you're going to capture in for your particular brand? Are you going to connect on the emotional front? Or are you going to do a research with the lifestyle of your target audience and get your product with that? Or is it out of your passion you're going to build some brand persona? You have to do a research on this. And the other per persona is the audience persona. When you're ready with a product or when you, when you have done your research and you want to come up with a product, and then these are the things that you need to look out for. What age you're going to serve and what is the demography, the lifestyle, the job profile, earning and the decision making. What is the earning and are they the decision makers in life? So these are the audience persona. So the brand persona is yours and the audience persona is about the audience. How you're going to bridge this will help you filter with your persona. Okay, so now conquer some places in the social platform. They're all in FB, Instagram, LinkedIn, but what works for you, where your audience are? If your audience are on Instagram, yes, you can. And career with fashion doesn't just end with designing. You can become, you know, a stylist, a celebrity stylist. You can become a, you know, image consultant. You can become a makeover artist, or you can become an image engineer. And there are so many captions that you can give yourself. So then look who you target audience are, are they the ceos are they the celebrities who is your target audience and try to post more in that platform influence as i mentioned earlier if you want to you know make people take an action then you need to influence them influencing isn't easy until you build the trust Building a trust means showing them truly what you are. Sometimes you would have seen people like to see you more, you know, when you're in your person with your personal task more than the professional arena, because they want to know more about you. So influence them by showing truly who you are. Work on your credibility by getting some endorsement from people who you work with. And do a lot of pro bonos. And pro bonos will help you learn, get experienced with the project. And, and you know, it's, it's easy for you to start to learn. So do a lot of pro bonos. Learn, unlearn, and relearn. So when you learn, you tend to unlearn over a period. And if you don't tend to unlearn a period, you need to try unlearning. If not, you will you know, get stuck with what you are. You can never become a better version of you. And sometimes you need to relearn the old concepts, which you can loop in, in your newer way. And do your SWOT. What are your strength, weakness, the opportunity and threat? If you can do all this, you're ready to come up with a brand. Now, finally, who's your target? And how are you going to convert them? Which is so important. When you know your target audience, and when you know your product, and when you're ready with your marketing strategies, then how are you going to convert and how this conversion happens? Conversion doesn't happen overnight. You need to work on a hybrid model where the conversion happens only then. It's not that you have a product, you launch and it happens. You need to start meeting people, start analyzing your own product, start working on them and try to get a lot of feedbacks from people around you. And that helps you with your conversion. 
fashion entrepreneurial journey, which means I don't want you to just leave the premises of your college as a fashionista or a fashion designer. However, you work with a label, you work with a designer, you be an assistant for someone for a while, but still you can start your entrepreneurship at the moment. You can be on your own. And to be on your own, all you need is only this. Look at the bigger picture. Don't look at what you are today. The bigger picture has got you a different arena. In the bigger picture, you're not what you are today. In the bigger picture, you are a known person. You're a famous personality. You're in the limelight. That's what you're seeking to you want to be fam famous or you want to be rich? You want to be known for your quality? You want to be known for your style? So the, the bigger picture will help you know and understand all this. The courage and persistence. You know, people with respect to fashion should be more aggressive. And I feel it's a business of people who are aggressive. Bold, being courage and being persistent is just the tool that you help you with your entrepreneurial journey. And if you're going to miss this alone, this quality alone, it's going to be so tough for you. So make sure you're courageous and you're persistent throughout your journey. And concept is the product. Work on your product. See what's unique about your product. Take inspiration from inside and outside. Come up with a, pro come up with a business plan. And the production part, which is the sourcing and marketing strategies, which you need to work on. Are you going to market your marketing strategies with respect to uh, the social platform or can be the print media? And next is the investment. Investment. When I say investment, it doesn't mean the cost. The investment of the budget, the, the budget that it takes to start your career. Here, investment, I mean, is different. The time that you invest for yourself, the love that you invest for yourself, the learning that you invest for yourself. Are you doing these three? If you're not investing on these, it's very difficult. So start investing in these. Networking. The world is so big. It doesn't restrict you. You don't know where it starts and where it ends. And nobody is stopping you. Nobody tells you not to explore. Nobody tells you, you know, you need to only work on this. Nobody is, you know, tying you somewhere and making you tell, no, you should not go. There is nobody there other than you. If somebody is stopping and it's you, and it's you who tell, no, I can't reach there. It's somebody that's stopping. It's you telling you, no, there are better person available. There are better creators there. When you always tag somebody, you know, there are better peace person and there is somebody better than me. There is somebody on already doing it. Then you have all these thought process and you're limiting. That is your own limiting beliefs. But trust me, the world is open for everyone to explore. Ultimately, you should explore. I've been also a person who'd been restricting me most of the time. I was not ready to go ahead and do things. I kept blaming my son. I kept blaming the society. I kept blaming my mother. You know, we keep blaming everyone. But one day I realized I'm not tied. Nobody has tied me up other than my own mindset. So most of the time, that's the reason I said, Nothing to work on the outer part. It's all perfect. It's okay to be how we are. But what we need to really tune is how we are inside. How is my mindset? Am I ready to take up this? Am I ready to explore? So creating opportunities. If there is only need you can serve. If there is no need, what do you do? You need to create a need. If there is no need, then please try to create a need. Create opportunities for yourself. We say there is a lot of unemployability in the country. But to be very true, we are not using the opportunities. There are a lot of void. There is a lot of gap which has been filled. 
but we're not ready to do it. We always wanted to be in our comfort zone and we always think about how am I to reach there. Take the first step. The unknown is somewhere. You can't see it. But if you ask me, I want to see all the way till I want to go reach, I can't help you. Nobody can help you. Say I want to travel from here to London. Only if you show me all the way to London, I would go there. And if I say that, I'm a fool. I need to make sure that I take the risk of going even without seeing what is there. And I should be ready to take that risk. And if I always think of the unknown part in life, and I can never reach there. So I think to start an entrepreneurial journey, you need to look forward with the tools that you have in you. And so far, you would have worked with certain things. Try to introspect if you are in the right space. And if not, discover yourself. Are you ready? If you're ready, please start. Okay, it's the right time on a day. Is there any right time, right day in life? We started the session at 2 o'clock, I guess. Was that the right time? Is that a right day? If yes, then I need to go back to slide 13. And if it's no, still I need to go back to slide 13. You know what is there in slide 13? Build your empire. There is no right time. There is no wrong time. There is, no, there is no today. There is no tomorrow. There is no yesterday if you want to really start something. If you decided to start, start something, then please get ready and start working on. The time is now. All right? Okay. So we've been talking more about the brand and how to start your own and how to be your own boss, your own brand. And when you go tell people, yes, I'm a fashion designer and I can do this, you need to have an elevator pitch. Life is uncertain, as I said. You'll not get what you get today. And every opportunity is so important. The first impression that you strike with people is so important. And every time, the opportunities will not keep knocking your doors all the time. Once opportunity given, try to make use of it. And you need to be prepared. And if you need to be prepared, you need to have set of question and answer that people tend to ask you. Which one is the elevator pitch? You just get one second to tell people what you are. Say, as an image consultant, I would say I'm an image consultant and I help people enhance their visual communication. That's it. Very simple. People don't want to know. Maybe this is enough to just to talk or I need to first introduce myself, what I am, where I'm certified from. If you get a time to talk to people, then try to introduce yourself and then the problem that is around and what kind of solution that you could offer and ask what you want from the person. And this is one way you can get along and try to get business from people. If you haven't drafted one elevator pitch, and I would give you as a homework, please start writing one for yourself. Next time when you meet people, if they ask you what you are, just don't say that I'm a fashion designer. You need to say that I'm a fashion designer. I'm, I'm a founder of so-and-so brand. And this is what, this is how my project or my product is unique or my service is unique and why they need to come to you. And the, you know, the, the things that you have done in the past. So try to make a crisp elevator pitch for yourself, which is your unique selling, propo, you know, uh, USP proportion. Okay. Evolve. I love this world, evolve. Uh, when I want to start my own brand, I've been looking for a name. You know, we all have a habit. Say somebody tells me KFC. And till then, I wouldn't have never noticed KFC anywhere. The moment somebody you know, ignites something in me, like, you know, say about something or somebody just, you know, say I'm hungry and somebody talks about KFC. And everywhere I go, I see the board KFC. Probably 
I would have traveled the same way many times, but I wouldn't have noticed. But the day I'm hungry, and and the day you know, I I just recollect. Oh, somebody said that is there some KFC there, right? We have our own reticular activating system, which keeps connecting us with a lot of words around, connecting us with a lot of pictures that we you know often see in life. So similarly, the world evolved. A month, throughout a month, you will not believe. Throughout a month, I've been listening to the world evolve, evolve, evolve everywhere. I don't know why. But when I put down my pen to have a brand name, all came to my mind is evolve. I wanted to have something evolve, and when I started thinking about evolution, like how long it takes for us to evolve? What is evolution all about? The world evolved. We all evolve over a period. And is there any measure to be evolved? Then I got to know it's infinite. So that's how I branded my name as Evolve Infinite. You can be a better version of yourself, and it doesn't mean only to certain extent you can be a better version because we are so powerful. And that's why we call ourselves as uh, the powerful living being on Earth. And if that's true. then we evolve like this you evolve when you in your career with a passion which is like this small boy who is standing his passion something is driving him to achieve something in his life and from there he gets inspiration from inside and from the outer world and then he wants to create something on his own now his creation helps him to innovate with new things for his life and he becomes a problem solver people seek to him and just imagine yourself in these stages you had a passion of becoming something you got inspired with the outer world and from your inner self and then you started creating something that resonates with your passion and now you're innovating and then comes the enlightenment is when you go out of your way you go that extra mile to seek something you transcend which infinite and finally you mark the imprint of yourself so the phases in life how we evolve is short and actually now the innovation guy can take up the imprint because the world is so fast it's not the aging part you know it doesn't mean that only age gives us the experience the age the aging helps us to understand few things in life it doesn't mean that way it is how you let yourself go let yourself adapt and create an arena for yourself okay now i have somebody here and i don't know if you know them she is actually from bangalore i was so inspired with the way the designer has made the outfit and if you want to know who she is she is aparna from bangalore i'm just going to talk about four designers here where you know she is being known for her luxury garment known for the lehenga and uh, the sarees and there's another person from netherland and where she comes up with business suits for women and her her target audience are the working women okay so i have enough and she is venels and here you have tarun who comes up with a style statement and when he started you know after his uh, master degree 
he wanted to start up something and then and he started this in ensemble boutique but later then he did his fashion designing course in new york new york okay so he got to know that there's a gap and he can really do something with the clothing industry but then he didn't have the knowledge about it where he seek going for knowledge and you have devi muthu kumar who's from trichy i just spoke to her two days before and if you ask me why these four you have tarun you have ranils and aparna if you see them they are from different walks of life they had different background they are from different kind of family or different kind of culture they have but what unites them what unites them is the passion what unites them is fashion what unites them is being aggressive and for some people it was so easy some people had the money some people had the desire and if i need to talk about devi muth kumar she started her journey from a college and then she launched herself post college like because her friends family you know had advised her to do this as it's inside it's you know it's an innate talent and then she started discovering herself over a time and now she has got a brand called ravikai if you see her if you see every personality here the personalities are so different they are from different you know parts of the world but they are ready to explore the world to deep dive into the sea into the ocean and find what truly they are okay now when we are talking about everyone i want to now talk about us i want to talk about you how you perceive and want to be perceived how do you perceive you as a person when you want to be a brand you're a social person you come up to people tell them this is me but not every time people perceive you the same way that you want it to be who you are the lion or the cat do you look yourself as a cat but are you a real lion in life or are you a cat but when you reflect the reflection shows you as a lion yeah so how you want to be perceived it's how you carry yourself it's the quality of life that you want to live it's with whom you hang out and where you hang out it's about your dream it's about your vision which helps people to perceive the right way now when we're talking about more on image how to create an impactful image so these are few aspects to carry a better image how you how are you going to manage your image clothing grooming behavior etiquette body language vocal and verbal communication and people skill so these are the as- aspects if you ask me are so important yes clothing is a part of you it's your second skin it says what you are vocal and verbal communication and you know it, it's so important that you talk about you it's so important that you talk about your brand your communication your your level of communication communication doesn't mean the language communication is how much you have understood your audience how much you are reflecting from inside how much you reflect your brand is so important people skill which is so important when you come out work 
can be uh, fashion, can be anything. And if you don't have this particular skill called interpersonal skill, you would not find easy to mingle with people. You can be an introvert, you can be an extrovert, but still, end of the day, every day we need to interact with people. So if you're not a person who is so initiative, if you're not a person who's much into socializing, doesn't mean that you don't have people skill. But if you feel that, no, I'm not able to, then you have to start initiating a conversation. And you have to sit, observe on how the pattern of people differs from one to one. We're all not one. I speak differently, you speak differently. Say I convey something in a different way and you convey something with a different uh, analogy. And we all have different mindset. And say when it's all about beach, I would say sun or I would say the uh, sea waves or I would talk about the shops there. But if I ask someone, they would talk about the sound. They would talk about the, you know, the visual background or they might talk about Sundel. Okay. So we all have different mindset. So people are with different mindset. And we have a lot of the diversion and inclusion in the country. And you need to go out and work which means you need to understand. You need to understand the cultural differences that we have. You need to understand the language barrier that we have. So make sure, don't think that, you know, this is a, this is a place, if I go, I'm not, I, I might not have the visibility. Don't think that this place is not for me. I might look zero there in front of these. Just try, go, have your presence. If you feel that no, I, I don't belong. Most of the time we feel that, no, I don't belong. But I'll tell you, it's not that you don't belong there. It is your comfort zone, which is not letting you go. And when you could come out of that comfort zone and go approach people, talk to people, understand the mindset, observe their lifestyle, and you can easily mingle with them. And this is one such thing which is not helping us to you know, work together, which is not, which, which is making things to bring in a lot of conflicts. So it's so important that you have strong interpersonal skill. So with all put together, you can create an impactful image. So now, how you perceive him? For me, with this torn clothes, maybe with a cigar, might look good with a movie, but now, Ah, uh, it's little, you know, I'm afraid to uh, look at him. Look, is this person approachable? I would say no. If you perceive him with a blazer, yeah, I, I want to go take a photograph with him. Yeah, that's how uh, the, the feel is. Authoritative, so um, aesthetic. Looks, oh, He's a, he's a style icon. So that kind of a perception that we would have with this man now. So what has changed from picture to picture? The same person, just his clothing is different. His grooming is different. His body language is different. His accessories have added and somewhere it's not there. Only this has been changed from picture to picture, but it talks about what? It talks about, is he approachable? What kind of a person is, is he? What kind of lifestyle he carries? I mean, he's from. What sort of a life that he lives? His background? His ability? His, uh, his job profile? His earning potential? All this you can actually unpack just by seeing someone's image. So this is how we most of the times being judged. Yeah, judged with how we look. It's how you look, tell people either to approach you. Look in the sense, not just your clothing, it's your attitude, it's your behavior. 
and it's your language. What are the choice of words that are you using? All right, so your digital footprint. So as a fashion designer or as an aspiring fashion designer, digital footprint is very important where it might break or make your image. Sometimes I felt, oh my God, why this person has posted this kind of a picture? Why do I think that? It's her life. It's all about her. She can post anything in life. Why do we have this kind of feeling? Because I feel so conflicting about her. She carries a lot of different signals, which is conflicting about her. Today she is this, tomorrow she is that. Today she looks approachable and you know tomorrow she looks authoritative. That's actually pretty fine. But you, you see somebody getting from a style scale of being casual to authoritative is like depend on the role. But say somebody is, you know, looks so naive today and next day they look so authoritative, they look so aggressive. You would never understand what they are. You know, as a person, yes, we carry all this in us. But when it comes to the digital footprint, you have to show people what you are. You should not confuse them. That's my point. Don't confuse people what you are. You can limit yourself. I know a lot of celebrities who are in Facebook for some while and they come out of Facebook. When I ask them why you're not there on Facebook, they say, no, I don't want to be. It's absolutely actually fine if it doesn't work for them. But if it's not working for them, then you need to know why it's not working for them. Why they are why they're upset just about a social platform. Will somebody get upset with a social platform? Because we keep tending to go check what others do. You know, when you go to a hotel, you have the plate, you have uh, the waiter asking you to come, you know, what you want to have. The moment, though you have the menu in hand, the plate is in with you and the man is there standing behind you, look at everybody's plate. Isn't it? Yeah. And you would say, oh, that's, that guy is uh, having uh, chola puri. Let me order chola puri. Many of us do that. Not consciously, but that's our unconscious pattern. But there are people who doesn't look at anything. They only look at their plate. Most of them are I people. There are we people. So when it's all about your digital footprint, don't see what others are doing. See what you want. See what you want, where, where your audience are. What would they like? How you want to engage with them? Are you going to emotionally connect with them? Or you're going to personally connect with them? Or you will officially connect with them? What do you want them to see in your life? What is that you're ready to show? So create your own profile, not just by seeking what others, not just by looking what you know, others are doing. It's about, it's about you. There is a lot of copy today. There is nothing called original. At least as a person, when we try communicating with someone, let's try to be self. And that self will help you connect easily than you being a different person. When you try to take something from someone, adapt it and then you know, handle, it is so difficult because it's not yours. You're not the owner of it. But if you're the owner of it, it is so easy. Say you write a poem, you can actually say it easily. Say you copy something and you can't say it without seeing it. Similar is life. Anything that you want to do, look into you, not just at what is outside. Look inside, first seek inside. And when you seek inside, you know what you are and what you can do with yourself and the others. And then you can get inspiration from the external source. So these are the most used social platforms. And Facebook is always number one. So see which works for you and go ahead and handle your social platform as a person you are. So this is one thing which I heard one of my from my close friend, blow your own trump. What? What do you mean? That's what I felt. He said, blow your own trump. 
you have to tell people what you do and if you if you're not you who would say that so no one is going to do for you you need to blow your own trump start from today i heard recently from one of the celebrity he said that every day i post i asked him are you not fed up posting every day you go to temple you post you go to cinema you post you go to somebody's birthday party you post but uh, like people you you're just spamming the facebook i said but he said no he had met one of a senior actor and he had told him do just one thing every day just promote yourself every day at least with one individual promote myself every day at least with one individual why should i do that he had asked and he said no blindly do that and he started doing it from that day and he has become so popular now and you know he's been approached by a lot of people just because he keeps posting and now like over a period he've been spamming now people got actually used with that right so sometimes it looks you know so like unrealistic so pushy but still see what people are looking at your followers your audience if they like it yes you can go with that and that is where your research lies so now branding you know how you need to brand how an entrepreneurial journey would be and what is expected from you and starting as a beginner all you need is the courage and being persistent is what i said now when you come to the social platform and when you become a social person and it's so important how you position yourself you want to look like this if you want to look like this then you have in position yourself the right way position yourself if you want to make your image and not to break your image positioning is not just with respect to the social platforms it's it's with respect to the integrity that you have as a person what you are is that aligned with what you speak is that aligned with the way you dress is that aligned with the people whom you communicate with is that aligned with your lifestyle you need to question yourself this way and this is what you let people know about you so what do you want to how do you want to position put this in your hand you want to make your image or you want to break your image see these are the conscious pattern of life which we always get into our unconscious pattern every day in life take some conscious steps brushing is the usual thing that we do which is one of the unconscious pattern driving a car driving a vehicle is the unconscious pattern in life eating has also become so unconscious pattern what are we actually so conscious about is every decision that we take in life is conscious is everything that we do in life is conscious and if you're not to your conscious level and when you do things then you need to redo it then you need to again relook it so when you're doing it take guidance and make sure that you do position yourself with your conscious consciousness So how many of you have browsed this actress without makeup Yes I have browsed You know why There's a friend of mine with me who used to surf this actress without makeup because she want to boast that she looks better than them and she's also eligible to be an artist in a movie to be a heroine in a movie okay why do we check for this actress without makeup ho oh, we we be so happy oh my god she looks very normal yeah she looks like me she looks like a next door person 
but just the makeup is making her look better other than that like she's only average yeah we get that confidence sometime lowering the other person but tell me these celebrities over a period would never come would never step out without a lipstick and a kajal but later in life you would see them with no makeup they're okay to show up for example which one is your favorite samira reddy the left or the right when she was in the movie this was a favorite when when she started showing this is me i'm ready to show you know by taking all the layers out i'm ready to show myself to you then we started celebrating her just because of her truthfulness just because of she's letting to know as this is me what more you can expect from a person so then this picture started becoming a favorite there are two things one is over a time when you come up in life when you grow the initial dramas that you had you tend to you know stop it there no i can't act more i want to be what i am and then you just show people that this is me i can't act more which is fake it until you make it when you start your career it's very hard for people to trust you it is very hard to keep the jitters inside and you know convince people it's very hard to tell people you're the best you you don't even tell that you're the best it's very hard to get along in an arena where you have a lot of potential people people with abilities people who've already been in fashion people been in light, limelight and there are a lot of differences that we have in a lot of ways there are a lot of discriminations that prevail still which sometimes puts us down but i'll tell you there is no choice we don't have choice but what you can do is you can fake it until you make it fake it in the sense believe you are number 1 dress up as your number 1 get your profile that your number 1 i mean the portfolio that you have and everything that you have whatever confidence low confidence still you carry never mind about all that just when you go keep all the jitters inside try to you know seal it inside and you need to fake it i'm the best okay so until you make it the journey will push you to different ends where you might lose your confidence but don't show it up you can actually fake it and faking will help you experience a lot it is like you put yourself in a space where you're not comfortable but still you know you want to get along with, with you know what you want to really handle in life it's so hard you feel inside but still it's okay it's only you know that don't let others know and this is one simple thing that i've seen everybody doing i keep asking the public speakers are you are you're not afraid of addressing thousand people around they say no who said i'm really afraid i'm so nervous then i ask them like how how come you're holding it sometime i need to fake it initially then i get the handle and you know then i i get the experience of the stage and then i feel like the stage is all mine and that's how it goes and it's only to certain time you need to hold yes to come there i need to do this to come there i need to project me this way so are you okay to show up now who you truly are if yes you need to add a lot of layers to you
it looks like it looks so heavy it looks like no this is not me you'll start shouting at yourself no this is not me you're adding too many layers but you need to you need those layers whatever whatever it takes add those layers which is going to you know bring make you as a better person those layers are important for you at the moment but be okay to share them when you truly discover who you are and that is the brand you so it takes a lot of time because you need to layer up yourself you can't show the nude you the nude you mustn't look better look appealing people might not like looking at it because it's bare there's nothing but when you layer they like it but when they know what is truly inside and to get the connect till then you need to have those layers in you but one point in time you can't have them and then you need to start shedding them as trees shed the leaves over a time and you know grow new one shed them and discover what you are and that's the brand you so become the best version of you and thank you thank you for an informative session ma'am appreciation letter has been displayed on the screen as a token of love kindly okay. please accept the appreciation letter from our end ma'am thank you so much thank you so much so thanking is our culture so it's our time to thank so i call upon ms varlakshmi to deliver a vote of thanks good afternoon to one and all present here on behalf of dr mjr educational research institute i take this opportunity to propose the vote of thanks for this one day national level webinar organized by our institute my heartfelt thanks to honorable president engineer acs arun kumar sir for accepting our request to conduct this event in a grand manner and i would like to thank all our executives of our university so special thanks to the speaker of the day ms prayadeshni govindan for sharing her knowledge thank you so much ma'am my heartfelt thanks to our joint register mr prabhu sir and academic dean dr a r arunachalam sir and administrative dean k sendil kumar sir for their continuous support for conducting various programs it's my honor to thank ms Mahmuda Begum Hichuri of Fashion Design Department of providing an opportunity to deliver the oath of thanks and special thanks to all the participants of our presence and continuous support I would also like to thank all the staff members of our department and special thanks to Mr Ganesh Babu sir for the technical support thank you one and all I hope the session was very informative and interesting to all I request all the participants to kindly fill the feedback form. The link has been shared in a chat box. Stay tuned for upcoming events and uh, admissions are open for BRC and MSc Fashion Design. For any further details, you can contact our official contact number. Thank you.